Why? It doesn't matter what we paid for the car. What matters is what you paid. Now, what's the closest you'll come to this number? Oh, Lance, you're killing me. I won't make a dime on this. Why can't I see the invoice? What do you have, some kind of invoice fetish? I know it's in that drawer over there. It's not in that drawer over there. If I could see the invoice, I just feel like then I would know what's going on. You know, but I don't know. This asshole. Don't start that shit. Will you just give me a pencil on this? He wants to see the invoice. Tell him the invoice is in the safe. The regional headquarters. <laughs> this is higher than my first hit. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, these things are expensive. You got this kind of money? I want to talk to the owner. I don't want to talk to him. He's fucking asshole. I'll be honest with you, Lance. I went too high, you went too low. What do you say we meet somewhere in the middle? <laughs> I know, man. That is nowhere near the middle. I didn't say exactly the middle. Who do you keep going to talk to? My boss. Well, can I talk to him? No. The monthly payment, it seems high. You write down a number that will make you happy. I want to make you happy. I want you to come back three years from now and buy another car. That's how much I can pay every month. I mean, that would make me happy. Did you bump your head? What's the closest you'll come to this number? You keep asking me that, and, and I keep telling you higher numbers, but then your number doesn't get lower. Exactly. I thought we were negotiating, but you're not. It does, I, I feel like I'm negotiating, but you're not negotiating. Please go home now. You know what, Lance? I don't even feel like you're a customer anymore. I feel like you're a friend now. Me too. Not bad. Fucking right. Now go tell him the floor mats are an extra hundred. Those are standard. He doesn't know that. You want to blow this fucking deal over floor mats? This guy's grinding me for two fucking hours. I get him to sign? You gotta be shitting me! Do it! <laughs> you weak suck, you gave away the floor mats. I'm not gonna blow the guy out of a floor mat, so it was a deal breaker. Bullshit, that pussy was hooked. Get out of my sight, you're fired. That was a home run. Two grand over sticker. You can't fire me. You wanna bet your commission? company picnic, I fucked your wife. Ex-wife. <laughs> In your car. <laughs> you cock-sucking motherfucking guinea asshole! You have to make shit bad, motherfucker! Let's get started. 
Okay, everybody stand up. Come on, stand up. Put one hand in the air as high as you can. Reach way up. Eddie, get the fuck out of that chair. I've heard this shit. I don't give a fuck. These meetings are for everybody. Reach, you old prick. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck is Sean? Keep reaching. Do you like your job? <laughs> I'll scare the shit out of that white boy. Watch, I'll be here in four minutes. How long do you say, Eddie? Six. We'll bet for lunch. Okay, come on, everybody. Keep reaching. A little bit higher. Come on. Now, you all reaching as high as you can? Yeah. Okay, I want everybody to try real hard and reach just a little bit higher. Come on. Oh. Bobby, you weak suck. Reach higher. Okay, great. Now, you see, guys? The way when you thought you couldn't do any better, you could reach just a little bit higher. If we all try just a little bit more, we can sell 50 cars this weekend. Yeah. Are we all going to try? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Sit down. Shamim, what are we? Whores. That's right. <laughs> we are fucking whores. And we fuck. And we suck. Better than anybody else. And they are going to pay us top dollar because we are the best. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> If you don't believe that, get the fuck out of here. Because you're wasting your time, you're wasting my time too. My grandmother, the bitch is blind, she can sell a car to somebody who comes in and says, give me that one. <laughs> all right, all right. Bobby, why are we here? Bobby, why are we here? Why would you come down to the dealership? Reggie said he can give you a job. We need to eat. I'm trying to. What do I have to do to explain to you that we are broke? Bobby, why are we here? Why are we here? Why are you here, DeLuca? To make money? Right! <laughs> Lots of money! <laughs> you want to make minimum wage, get the fuck out of here. Eddie, you owe me lunch. Okay, everybody. When Sean comes in, I want everybody to say, fuck you, Sean. Ready? One, two, three. Fuck you, Sean! <laughs> All right. Shut up. Marco, when does the salesman's job start? 8 a.m. Saturday, boss. No, you piece of shit. <laughs> Kiss ass. The salesman's job starts when the customer says no. Would you like to take this baby home today, sir? Well, I don't know. I uh, don't think so. Why? Well, I have to check with my wife first. Why? I don't have to check with my wife before I sell it. Why, 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 why? No matter what they say, you ask why. Who's going to be driving this car the most? Me. You. And the wife makes you check with her first. Well, she doesn't make me. I understand. You don't want to get in trouble. Come back after you get permission. You can take a test drive. I don't need permission. Let's go. Make them drive the car. Make them touch it. Feel it. <laughs> Smell it. Get them excited. When they're excited, they pay more. What are you doing here so late? We need the money. Didn't you be find a job? Nope. You have to be looking for a job in order to find one. How about the insurance? Didn't you collect on that? My brilliant husband didn't have coverage on the truck. It was a total loss. When a customer makes you an offer, you say, sir, if I could sell you this $32,000 car for $10,000, would you take it? When? Right I, I, now. If he says yes, you say, follow me. You turn around, you go straight into the office. Don't turn back around because they'll stop. They're like dogs. If a dog is following you and you stop and turn around, what do they do? They stop. Don't fucking stop! Mr. DeLuca, this is Thomas Rollins with Preferred Bank. I've left, and I'm keeping track, I've left 13 messages. Isn't it time You know, I remember the good old days when it was safe to answer my own phone. I remember when I could have a conversation with my wife without her breaking my balls. You know what I can't remember? The last time my husband brought home a paycheck. You know what your problem is? You want me to take the first job that comes along? Well, I don't want a job. I want a career. There's a difference. You don't get rich working for somebody else, Donna. And I know things are tight for us right now. But when the right opportunity comes along, I will work my ass off to get us out of this hole. You know that. 
My family is the most important thing in the world to me. Good. Because it's about to get bigger. Don't even joke about shit like that. Who's joking? You are! You're just saying it because you know if you were pregnant, I would have to get a job, any job. Do you actually believe that I would do that? Has your brain just completely rotted to shit? Are you out of your fucking mind? I'm sorry. No, no, don't, Bobby, don't. I would like to stab you in the neck right now. You are such an asshole. You don't have to stab me in the neck. I know I'm an asshole. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I promise you, everything will work out fine. What are we going to do? <sighs> I guess we're going to sell some cars. Really? Why not? So now, you got the customer in your office. The box. He's all excited. He thinks he's gonna get a top of the line, limited edition, $10,000. Now, you tear his fucking head off. On the trade-in, let's say his car is worth 20000 You go back and you say, sir, I have great news. Your car could be worth as much as Seven thousand dollars. <laughs> don't be afraid of these assholes. They don't know. You're a pro. You do this every day. Why would I buy a car from you? Because you love me. I'm a nice guy. I'm funny. Yeah, I like that. Make me laugh. You got a job. What's the best part of a blowjob once you're married? I don't know what. Five minutes of silence. <laughs> Are you idiots paying attention? A baby could understand this. You're right, the sticker price here in small numbers to show that's a small number. One third of that is your down payment. Three times the first two numbers of the purchase price is about what the payments per month will be. With these numbers, you got room everywhere. Sir, if I can get you $7,000 for your car and you put 11 down and I get your payments to only $9.90 a month, we'd have a deal right now, right? Then shut the fuck up. First one to speak loses. Are you crazy? No matter what the customer says, you go right to the trade, always in control. Sir, what if I can get you 7,100 for your car? Then we'd have a deal, right? How about 7,200? Always nod yes. Keep nodding. All of a sudden, the asshole starts to nod. <laughs> Sir, did you know you are getting fucked? Yes, I know, Reggie. Does it feel good? <laughs> Yes, it does, Reggie. <laughs> Fuck these people up the ass. They love it. <laughs> the next day, when they come out of the ether. What the fuck did I do? What the fuck did I do? So they bring their friends to you. Go ahead, give them the same deal. Go ahead, fuck him too. These assholes will bring you more customers.
How's it going? Hey! Where you been, man? Yeah. Could have called. I, I know, I know. I'm uh, I'm really sorry about that. I've been so busy, you know. <laughs> How's the trucking business, partner? <laughs> it's uh it's fine. But uh listen, I got some other things going on that I think you guys are really gonna love. What we'd love is for you to make your payments on time, and according to my sundial, you're late, Nixon. Well, that's why I'm here. I uh <laughs> I need a little bit of an extension. Wait, but don't get me wrong here. I mean, things are going great. I mean, they're definitely getting better. Yeah, I bet they are. And they are, they are. Check out the new ride. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Very nice. Why should we give you an extension? So I can close a few deals, a little, uh, a little breathing room, that's all. And I guarantee you, by the end of this month, I can be totally up to date. I mean, come on, guys, is that cool? When he says yes to the trade, go right to the down payment. Is that $11,000 down payment going to be cash or check? You can't? Well, what if I can get them to go to 10, <laughs> 9? Then we'd have a deal, right? <laughs> no? Cross it out. Big X. How about 10, 8? Then we'd have a deal, right? No? Big X. Sir, normally the banks require one third. But if I can get them to take 10750 then we'd have a deal, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Sir, what would it take to make a deal right now? Uh, $5,000. OK, 5000 now. And when will you bring us the other 6000 What do you mean? Oh, you mean only 5000 Well, then your payment's going to go up. You're always in control. Go back to the trade. If I can get you seventy-two fifty for your trade, you write me a check for five thousand, and I keep your payments down to nine ninety a month. We'd have a deal right now, right? Uh, no, payments too high. Well, let me ask you: How close to this figure of nine ninety can you come? Maybe four, five hundred. Five hundred. That's low. I've never seen a deal go down like this before. But if I could do that for you, would we have a deal right now? OK. Sign here. I'm going to try for you, but my boss is going to kill me. Then you say, wish me luck. The guy's shitting in his pants. He's fucking shaking. We can get it. So you bump this guy up thousands of dollars. Then you come in and you get your closer. We have these stars here for a reason. They are the best. But you have to do your job before they can do theirs. You sell the car, not them. They close the deal. When you pick up a girl, you don't take off all her clothes, get her into bed, and then call your friend Tom and say, OK, Tom, she's ready now. You can fuck her. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're fucking the bitch. The closer comes in, he puts his foot on your ass, and pushes you in deeper. <laughs> you have to sell the car. You have to get a commitment. Then one of my stars goes in, switches the guy to a lease, and buries the motherfucker. <laughs> we are the best. Yeah. We make more money than anybody. Yeah. Yeah. We are fucking high growth. Yeah. <laughs> and this is going to be our biggest month ever. Yeah. And to sweeten the pot, a $10,000 bonus to the top man. Oh. That's right. A 10 pounder to the pro. Now, next month, we got all new inventory. So get rid of those fucking sleds out there. Come on, let's go kick yeah. some yeah. All right. Fire <laughs> department, please call the operator. Fire department, call the operator. Buddy, more of you.
Buddy Mara to the Buddy Mara to the service department. Please, your car is ready again. ¿Entiendes lo que te estoy diciendo, güero desgraciado? Chupas verga. What? <laughs> he doesn't pick a word of Spanish. Can you believe it? A Mexican from LA. Come in, in car, right there. Nice car, man. That's the owner. You think you can sell him a car? Eddie, <laughs> dial the operator. Eddie, dial the operator. Talk to Mr. Carlton. He doesn't like it. You get fired. Reggie, please see Mr. Carlton. Reggie, see Mr. Carlton right now. What the fuck are you doing? You put it closer, closer. You see how much pain you can stand. You are sick. <laughs> Let's see how much pain a Q-tip can stand. Fuck you. <laughs> Good afternoon, Southside Mom. Sure we do. Come on down. And uh, ask for JJ, OK? That's spelled J-J. <laughs> yeah, OK. Well, uh, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, Mo. Mo. You ever catch a ladybug and melt the wings off? Then you pull all the legs off one side and watch it run around in circles. You must be very sick to get pleasure from killing something. No, 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 no. You don't kill it. Aren't you going to ask why you don't kill it? Because then it'll rain. Randall, <laughs> dial 6 4, please. You fucking Israelis don't know shit. You people worship fucking cows, man. What the fuck is that? Get the fuck out of that chair, you mother grabber! Relax, Q tip, or I'll pull one of your legs off. Ah! Back off, JJ. Take it easy, Mo. This subhuman doesn't know the difference between Israel and Afghanistan. Hey, you're all just saying niggas to me anyway. Could have told me that all. Fucking not we're on the same team, moron. Fuck. To get to get me to know. <laughs> Are you crazy? You never mess with a fucking Afghan commando. Fuck that skinny nigga. I swat his ass. <laughs> I don't think so. The guy's a trained killer. He'll kill you in the blink of an eye. My money's on JJ. He was trained in Watts. <laughs> oh, that's right. How much? 500? <laughs> Punk ass nigga. Sales line three, please. Sales line three. Good afternoon, Southside. Coming in! Coming in! Damn! Shit! You prick! I saw it first. Hi, I'm Marco. Oh, I forgot my purse. Look at her. He knows we watch it. I'm Marco from the south side. Nice to meet you, Marco. I'm looking for something to get around to, something sporty. What do you think of this new guy on your team? I think he's gonna help me kick your ass this month. That's what I think. Uh -oh. Bullshit. 20 bucks says he goes blank for the weekend. 50 bucks says he sells a car today, white bread. Come on, Bubba. Put up a shut up. I'm good for it. Yeah, and my dick tastes like strawberries. You good for it. Put up your money. Here you go, ma'am. No, you drive. I hate to drive. Ready, please down, down, please. Don't take guys off that entrance. You see a car, you scream. Coming in. Where? Up your ass, Sean. Yell as loud as you can. Coming Come in! in! I got it. Stop! Your ass, you got it. He beat you by a mile. You ain't got shots Give a commitment, I'll bury the maggot. Go. What the hell is that? Oh, oh, what the hell it look like, buddy? Oh, oh man. Man. You get it in the booty, you. get right. <laughs> That's not fucking fair, man. What is that? Oh, we're not fair. Fuck all y'all. How about that? Go on, boy. 
Hey, hey, how you doing today? Hi. Welcome to Southside. Can I help you with anything? Well, we just wanted to look. That's great. What can I help you look at? You know what, we're really just looking right now. Okay. But I, I tell you what, if you need any help, I'll be right over here, okay? Okay. Welcome to Southside. My name is Shamim. I already have a salesman. Spoke to Sean. Oh. Would you like to uh, drive now? No, I'm fine. Go up there. I think you'll like this model. <laughs> I bet I'll like it, you big fucking carrot. Last those Tango, your car is ready. Last those Tango, please pick up your car. What are you doing? Why aren't you with the customers? Listen, they were just looking. Get the keys to that car, get out there and drive them. It's only the first one they've looked at. Get out there and drive them now! Keys in here? Oh, shit. I used to know kids like you in school. I used to hold them by the legs and clean the toilets with their fucking heads. That's brilliant. You probably did your homework before supper, huh? Can we just get to the garage, please? You're gonna get to the garage. Get to the garage, just shut the fuck up. I wonder if the airbag is standard. Better be at this price. Hey, this is a great car. Really. Let's go for a drive. Mm, no, thanks. We don't want to waste your time. No, it's all right. I have nothing better to do. Listen, you don't have to buy the car. I mean, come on, let's go for a little drive. It might help you decide you don't want the car. <laughs> come on. All right. Pull up here and park. Isn't this great? Yeah. Um, wh what are you doing? I don't know what you're doing. But I know what I'm doing. Mm, relax, honey. I've been dreaming about doing this since my daddy bought me my first car. Wasn't that great? Huh? Thank you. So, Bobby, uh, what kind of deal can we get on this? I... I don't know. But I could find out. Follow me. One or two of you come into my office, take a seat, and I'll be back in just a little bit, okay? Please. Hey, Eddie. Hey, Eddie. I, uh, I think I got a deal. Take a credit app, a worksheet. Okay. It was great, you know, it was great. I mean, I said, follow me. They did. Fucking amazement, you know? <laughs> Eddie, take the customers. He's fine. Eddie, work the fucking deal. There's no deal. He hasn't even done a worksheet yet. You fill it out. Ask them the questions. Go high on payment, high on down payment, low on trade. Hey, uh, I don't know if they have a trade. Then go real low. Okay. You're an asshole. He's got to learn. If he loses that deal, you are fired, you lazy fuck. How much? 
Ten bucks. If you'll come inside, sir, we can work out the numbers. Well, why don't you go inside and get your boss's best price and then come out here and tell me what it is? Well, it doesn't work that way, sir. You see, I need you to come inside and fill out the papers. The other will not believe you're serious. Oh, I'm serious. But I'm not coming inside. Are you gonna buy this car, ma'am? Hi, Barry. Oh, Keep going. You promise? Y you'll buy it today? Yes. Oh. <sighs> okay. Do you have a trade-in? No. It's good. All right. Now, this is how much your car costs. So your, your, your payments will be... I don't know, what do you think they should be? Well, we're not paying that much for the car, right? No, no, no. I'll get you a good deal, don't worry. But what are you gonna put down? What do we have to put down? A lot? I'll be right back. This guy has no idea what he's doing. So maybe we'll get a better deal. I like him. He's not a salesman. Did you whack this shit? No. Yes, you did, man. That's okay, because that's how I started, and that's how everybody fucking starts. I'm gonna tell you this because I like you. Stay out of the fucking product. Okay. What do you wear these days, Sean? What? How much you wear, man? I don't know, I guess about 160. Good. Step on that. <laughs> Not a boy. This is the sticker price. If you cannot come inside, sir, this is the best we can do. Maybe you don't comprende, Snowflake. I will buy this car, but I refuse to come inside. I'll be waiting. Right here. We have to stop at the bank so I can get my money. Uh, OK. I know it. I don't give a shit. I'm not talking to this asshole anymore. You know why he won't come inside? Because he's afraid, Mo. He's afraid of you. He's afraid of me. He's afraid of every fucking thing here. He's afraid of the fucking porters who watch the cars. I'm done talking to this piece of shit. This Spedor sock has no respect. 
You don't want his respect. You want his money. You can't buy shit with respect. How many of these jerks come in here screaming, I'm not buying anything today. I'm just looking. You think they're talking to you? No, they're talking to themselves. They've been fucked so many times, they finally realized they're easy. Go bury this fuck. No, fuck him. I take another. Give it to someone else. I'll give you an extra hundred you close this deal. 150. Don't push your luck. Three porters to the showroom, please. Three porters to the showroom. Show them this. Hey, they're gonna shit when they see Just this. show it to them. Yeah, but they think that I'm trying You don't show it to them and tell JJ what you said about his mother. Insane. Will you get the fuck over here and show them the numbers? You like this, Bob. Let's just sit here for a little while. Then I'll go back inside and get you guys a discount. Okay? You like Vietnamese food? my friend almost done with the figures we have worked up for you what the hell is this your payments oh this looks a little high if you cannot afford this car thank you for stopping by no no wait wait it's not that i can't afford it <laughs> it's uh well i mean can i get a better deal no. You have to go somewhere else for a better deal. Are you kidding? These are harder to find than tits on a catfish, especially in this color. I know. That's too bad. There was one other place you could have gotten a better deal. Where? Inside. The 1.6 liter is 9,700, but that's wholesale. The uh, retail is 12.1. The guy says he'll take it if we give him a full-size spare. Tell him they're 300, we'll do it for 150. Okay. What happened? Nothing, the guy was a total roach. There's no deal. Get the fuck back out on the line. He said it's too much. Eddie, go talk to these fucking mooches. Oh, I think I can do it, it's just a little too high. What are they saying? Eddie, right now. Introduce me, don't say a word. Hey, folks. This is my manager, Eddie. Eddie, Mr. and Mrs. Lennox. Hello. Pleasure to meet you. Beautiful dress. So, you folks would like to take this car home today, huh? No, uh, well, we told Bobby we were just looking. Uh -huh. Well, let me ask you a couple of questions. Do you like the car? Well... Yes, we do. Then what's stopping you from taking it home today? The price. No, we haven't looked around very much. Uh -huh. If the price was right, would you take it home today? Yes. No, actually, we want to look around a little more. Okay, well, let me see what I can do. Customer Jack Johnson, we found your jello jacket. Customer Jack Johnson, we found your jello jacket. You get back in there and talk to your customers. What are you doing? I like the car. I want it. Yeah, but you don't tell him that. I'm sorry. I think they got mad at me. You're doing a good job, honey. Just get us a good deal. Eddie's a good guy. He'll get you a good deal. You can owe me $10 in about five minutes. Not if he doesn't close the deal. Keep him in order. She had a knife. What could I do? They won't believe that. She drugged me. There was a gang of bikers. Call the cops. They, they kidnapped the lady. All right, here we go. Now, 
on a four-year purchase. This is your down payment. And your payments for 48 months is this right here. Yeah, but what are we actually paying for the car? Do you have your original worksheet? Right here. These numbers reflect the sticker price of the car. As you can see, these new ones are a lot lower. Money can only come from one place. I don't know. It's still a little more than we were planning on. Have you considered leasing? Well... This is what a four-year lease looks like for the same vehicle. Oh, now that's more like it. No, that's still a little too high. Well, that's the best I can do. I tell you what, let me talk to my boss, okay? You folks excuse us a minute. Bobby, come with me. I want this car, and that's only $30 a month more than we thought we could spend. Will you stop? I know what I'm doing. There's no deal. The wife wants it, husband's gotta pay for it. He's gonna bribe me, this guy. You owe me 10 bucks, you weak suck. Me? I'm a weak suck, it's his deal. You trained him. Yeah, and I trained him good, too. Then how come there's no deal? Another 10. You close the deal, we're even. How about 25, he closes the deal himself? Fuck you, Eddie, I don't wanna lose this deal. 50 bucks? How much? Okay, a C note, but only if he closes the deal. A hundred if he closes it, plus the original tip. Done. Show him this, shake his hand, the car is sold. You didn't show him the counter. <laughs> that was better than pussy. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you laughing at, Green Pea? <laughs> Close JJ's lay down. All cash deal. Maybe if I disappear for a week, I can say I was kidnapped. Did you happen to know that you are married to a very talented salesman? You sold a car? I sold a car. Oh, honey, that's wonderful. <laughs> mm -hmm. With the money I made on this one deal, mm -hmm. we can pay rent. Mm -hmm. Baby, I'm gonna be great at this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be great when you get home tonight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have to work late. Well, that's okay. Gives me more time to get ready. I'll go out there and sell another one. Okay. <laughs> I'm going. Go. I'm going. Go. I'm going. See you at home. Oh, one more thing. What? <laughs> hey, guys. What would you call the Flintstones if they were black? Niggers. <laughs> Fuck you, you racist <laughs> cocksucker. I'm not a racist. I hate everybody. You clan-loving, area nation, militia member, Skinhead, white motherfucker. <laughs> no offense. One day, one day there will be no more racism on Earth. Yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah. Right after the aliens attack, and then we'll all hate green people. I can't believe I'm working for that fucking asshole. Why don't you quit? I did twice. <laughs> Why are you still here? Money, baby, money. This is one high gross store. You think anywhere you go to sell cars, they fucking rape people like this? I once made twenty-seven hundred dollars on one fucking car. That is downright motherfucking legalized robbery. Look! <laughs> oh, 
What's up, Zangzi? Where the fuck have you been? Where's the fucking car? Do you realize how many people came in and we could have sold that car to? Can we talk inside? Fuck you, asshole. Where's the fucking car? The lady stole it. <laughs> what lady? You let some bitch steal the car? Well, <laughs> yeah, we were... Um, you were what? Well, we, we had <laughs> sex and she... You fucked the bitch? Well, yeah. Hey! Marco finally got laid! <laughs> Did she swallow? <laughs> Hey, he got a blow job too! <laughs> you are in deep fucking shit, you stupid asshole. Hey there, partner. Hey, Eddie. Good deal you made today. Hey, thanks, man. Thanks. I think you maybe want to learn more about this business, you know? This business, you don't need to know a fucking thing. Just have to have the balls to do it. Is it really that easy? <laughs> you shitting me? Half the sales force can't even speak English. That's the beauty of it. Anybody can do it. Look, Mohammed. Brother barely escapes the Russian army. He's running through miles of ambushes, shooting down helicopters with stinger missiles. Ends up here selling cars. How's he do it? I mean, how does he make so much fucking money here? He works his fucking ass off, man. That's how. He's trying to raise enough cash to go back and get his sister. He left her behind. He's a good guy, Mo, you know? I like him. Fuck him! Fuck them all. Fuck them before they fuck you, and believe me, they will. Come on, man, isn't that bad, is it? Let me tell you something, Green Pea. There is no room for loyalty in this whacked-out business. You make your money, and to hell with everybody else. That deal that he closed for you? We buried that fuck. He won't even know it till he tries to get out three or four years from now. And you? You could have made at least another half point on the interest. We made enough on the deal. What? What did you say? Did you say enough? Is that like when you get your dick sucked and right before you come you say, That's enough! <laughs> never! It's never enough! I want to blow my load all over the place. And when I'm done, I want to do it all over again. <laughs> Oh, man, oh, man. Let me ask you something, Eddie. Do you ever feel bad for any of your customers? Fuck them. Let's go home, man. Alone. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking a lot about this job. Maybe I've been too nice to people. I should have stepped down a little. And it would have put me in a much better position. But I didn't because I'm a nice guy. And every single time it's come right back and bit me on the ass. How'd you like to bite this ass? your girlfriend. The bitch is in jail. Are you going to visit her in Yale, Marco? <laughs> hey, 
Maybe you can get laid again. <laughs> Better make sure you go to a woman's jail. Why? You can get laid at a men's jail, too, right? Miss <laughs> Sean, I'm gonna kill that Irish fuck. How did they find the car? Oh, this is a good one. She's a degenerate gambler. Took the car to Vegas. Guess what? The bitch won. <laughs> <laughs> what fucking time are my meetings, asshole? I got a note from my doctor. <laughs> Removed moth from right ear. <laughs> you had a bug living in your head? It crawled in there. What was I supposed to do? Go sit next to Marco. That's my new genius squad. <laughs> okay, we gotta pick up the pace. You guys should be doing a lot better. You're letting too many customers walk. I wanna hear some of their excuses. Come on, try and stump me. I got an answer for anything. Come on! I'm just looking. I'm just selling. You can't really look at a car unless you drive it. Next. I think I can get a better deal somewhere else. Sir, we all pay the same for the cars. Nobody can give you a better deal. Come inside, and I'll show you. This is the first place I've been to. Then you're lucky you came to the best place first. I have to see what kind of interest rate my credit union can give me. We have a book that lists all the credit unions. I can tell you what your rate and payments will be. Come on, give me a tough one. I have to check with my wife. What's the phone number? We'll call her right now. I have to look at a couple other cars first. Why? Consumer Reports, Car and Driver, AAA. They've all looked at the other cars for you. They say this one's the best. I want to look at the Ford. <laughs> okay, sir, come on. Drag the fucking guy with you. Where are we going? To the Ford dealer down the street, asshole. Come on! We'll compare them side by side. I don't have a good credit. We can finance anybody. I just declared bankruptcy two weeks ago. Then what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> okay, you get the idea. Let's sell some metal. I want credit apps. I want full write-ups. I want commitments. I'm buying lunch for the guy with the first deal. Let's go! Kick some ass, baby. I want to show you something. So that's where he got the new car. He's playing with this. This is my sister. Her name is Paro, but I call her Paro June. When you like someone, you say June, like Bobby, Bobby June. I've served almost enough to bring her over here. I should have never left her there. I'm sure you'll do it, Mo. I mean, you're the top man this month, so far. <laughs> <laughs> but you better watch out, partner, because I'm coming right up behind you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh. Coming in, Thunderbird. Welcome to Southside. I am Mohammed. Welcome. Now we have a salesman. You lied to us, Nixon. I, uh. I would. There you go again, setting off the lie detector. I didn't say anything. That's the amazing thing about this machine. It can tell if you even think a lie. Where's our fucking money? I have it. Ah! All right, I don't have it now, but I can make the payments. If you only pay the big, you'll never get out from under. And now that we know we can't trust you, we want it all. I can get it. His finger is gonna start breaking. Shit! Oh, I can get it! I can get it! I can uh, get it! Let's, let's go for a walk. You think I'm bullshitting you guys? I was working hard. I was making money. Things were going better than I thought they would, you know? I even had a house picked out. Larry Bresner, please come to the parts department. Something said we slept into the truck to get early pickups. And I was living on coffee and fucking donuts. It was the coffee that screwed me. Coffee? Yeah, you know, you're drinking so much and you don't want to stop driving. I was pissing in a big gulp, and I hit a pothole. And this one all over the place, and I smashed into another car. <laughs> Did you hear this? <laughs> he pissed all over himself. I don't care what's already happened. I just want to know what's going to happen. OK, at, at the rate I'm selling cars, if I can make this bonus, which I will make this bonus, I can pay you guys 20 grand at the end of the month, guaranteed. And that'll bring me up to date and then some. What do you say? 20. On the 30th. We'll think about it. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Yeah. Come on, what's my name? 
What's my name? Talk to me. Talk to me, huh? What's my name? Talk to me, huh? Come on, give it to me. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. JJ has me. He can't even close his screen door. <laughs> he must have soaked that deal late last night, man. Okay. Sit down. Let's get started. That was our white trash Irishman calling in from jail again. He's the only salesman I know who calls in arrested. <laughs> what happened? Cops pulled him over doing 75 in a 35 zone. Found a couple of grams of coke in his glove box. <laughs> Gotta get rid of that fucking idiot. Okay, okay, let's get started. I want to talk about how to really put somebody together. It takes faith. You have to believe. You have to be a believer. JJ, I can heal you. You are now white. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, you're looking all right. All right, all right, all right, okay, okay. Remember this, people love to talk about themselves. Use that. If they have children, tell them how safe this car is. If it's a single guy, tell them how much power this car has. And if this car will get his dick sucked. <laughs> Any idea the customer has, you love it. If they hate somebody, you hate them too. <laughs> you guys are the best. You have to believe that. If you don't believe it, fake it. Fake it till you make it. Now, these numbers, they don't mean a thing. The guy at the bottom can go from zero to hero in a day. Look at the Luca. Guy never sold fucking cars in his life. He's in the top four. Go a little crazy. Be creative. We used to take the traded keys, throw them on the roof. Sir, you are not leaving today without buying a car. We used to drive the trades out back, put the bumper up against the tree, burn out the clutch. Sir, where the fuck are you going? Your car is broken. We could fix it, or you could use the money a down payment for something new. <laughs> go crazy! Sell some fucking cars! Go! Yeah, go! Come on. Come on, man. Chill out, Juju. Come on, let's make some money, buddy. It's me. We got a little problem. Mr. Garcia, let me ask you. If I could get you $1,000 for your used car, you'd give me a check for... Four thousand dollars, making your monthly payments four sixty per month, right? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> What's so funny? The price is too much. Okay, let's take the trade. If I could get them to give you eleven $1 hundred for the trade, then we'd have a deal, right? <laughs> I really personally like the moonlight blue, but you know you can make up your own mind. Mohammed line about... seven, please. Uh, Mohammed line seven. Uh, excuse me, please. Well, it's kind of. Yes, this is Mohammed. Who is speaking, please? I'm gonna go real low on the down. 3,900. No. Okay, 38. 3,750? Sir? This is a very good price. You agree? Yes. Okay, so you will take it at this price? Yes, sir. Uh, discount, uh, yes? No, no, I I've already given you the discount, remember? Oh, that's got that's a little Discount, Yojim. discount. I'm uh, sorry, sorry, uh, my bad. Uh, yes, yes. So, we have a deal then. No. Bigger discount. Sir. 
son of a bitch! Man, is he pissed. Thank goodness for Pat Murray. <laughs> I think his head's gonna explode. <laughs> oh man, you were good. Oh. <laughs> Look, I think we get him to come down another five hundred dollars. We'll take it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, great. Sign here. I'm not saying I can do this, but I like you, so I'm gonna give it a shot. By the way, have you considered leasing? Can we go 325 for 36 months? Done deal. Shake his hand. Okay, boss, I got him. Give me a lease. 800 for the trade, 3750 down, 450 a month. Hmm? Good job, Bobby. You are one sick individual. Mm hmm You think? That is control. That is total control. You have to be fearless. If this guy ever took the time to add up the numbers, he'd find out he's paying almost twice the sticker price. And he's fucking thrilled! <laughs> Well, I just made an unbelievable deal, man. It was one of the biggest commissions this month. Yeah! <laughs> She's gone, Bobby. Who? Your customer? Who's gone? My sister. Haram. Right. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Wow, I'm, I'm so sorry, man. It's my fault. I should have never left her there, Bobby. It's my fault. Oh, Mo. Mo, you, you can't do that to yourself. It's not your fault. You couldn't have done anything. Mo. <laughs> oh, Mo. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! You should get the piss out of me. I knew we should have brought a big gulp. You know, partner, we've been thinking. Your chances of paying us off aren't looking too good right now. Now listen to me, I'm being totally straight with you guys. I have a really good chance of nailing this bonus. No. You listen. We already gave you a chance, and you know what? Most people only get one. We want the combination. Pumpkin seed? No. What combination? Don't fuck with me when I'm thirsty! The safe. I saw money going in the safe. How am I supposed to get that? Get the fucking thing! Bobby, is your little girl like pumpkin seeds? Motherfucker. Oh, oh. Oh. That hurt? Looks like it really hurt. He hasn't done that to me in a long time, but when he did, I remember it really hurt. By tomorrow, partner. Oh, oh come on. I told you guys. I told you I will have the money by the end of the month. I... What does that mean? I don't know that money anymore. What do you mean? I don't know what. I don't know what. Okay. Okay, okay. Just give me a couple of days. You know, I said I'll do it. I just need a little time. I gotta go. I gotta go. I got customers. I gotta go. I'll call you back. Mr. Garcia. Hello. Hi. How are you? Can I help you with something, sir? We went to our credit union. They explained to me that if I buy this car, I cannot afford to feed my family. Please, Mr. DeRuca, can we give it back? Oh, no. Mr. DeLuca, please. Could you please take it back? Mr. Garcia, I'm sorry, I don't think I can help. <laughs> Let 
Let me see what I can do. Hey, Reggie. <clears throat> These people came in yesterday. Um, and uh, I want to help them out. I mean, they, they, they really can't afford this. We, we overdid it. I mean, the car's going to be in repo anyway if they go bankrupt, so... Let me say we cut him some slack. Let me see it. Is this your name here? Yes, sir. You're an owner. Get the fuck out of here. Sorry, Mr. Garcia. I really tried. I am so sorry. Another day of dealing with idiots on a $10,000 discount. If somebody else tells me how they hate car sales, I swear I'm gonna snap. I heard a guy yesterday, he would only buy a car that was built on a Wednesday. <laughs> the fucking retard. You know what? I can't handle this shit anymore! Reggie's right. We're a bunch of fucking whores. A bunch of uneducated, arrogant, goddamn fucking whores! How can you blame these poor bastards? Every single person who walks into this place has been raped by a car salesman. And they know beyond a shadow of a doubt it's gonna happen again. Do you wanna know why I'm here? I'm here because I tried to make something in my life and I failed. But at least I gave it a shot. Oh yeah, you weren't selling cars, you'd either be washing them or stealing them. Shamim. You think you're better than everybody else? Well, let me tell you something. The cars you're selling are worth more than the hometown you grew up in. See, these people, they don't earn their money by fucking other people out of it. And all they want to do is, is put a little food on the table for their children. Maybe send them to a decent school or something. And then we come along and take them for everything we can. And you know what's worse? We're so good at it that when we're done, most of them think we're heroes for doing it. If you're gonna steal from these people, at least show them just a little bit of respect. Let's not insult them any more than we have to. I think the green pea ain't no green pea no more. Are we taking advantage of people? Let us take a look. Your job is to sell a car for as much as you can. The customer's job is to buy the car for as little as possible. Why should you feel guilty about being better at your job than somebody else is at theirs? Now, if I went with a customer to get a deal on a car and I told him we were gonna fuck the salesman, he would love it! If he makes a good deal, he takes money out of your pocket. If you make a good deal, you take money out of his. What's the difference? Now, if somebody buys a car and he leaves thinking he got screwed, then he is an idiot. The buyer has all the control. He can get up and leave at any time. He does not own that car until he drives it off the lot. Not when he signs the papers. He does not own that car until he takes delivery. So who has the control, huh? If he got fucked, he fucked himself. It's that simple. Be proud of what you do. Be the best. And never, never apologize for it. I'm thinking of quitting, Mo. No. You can be a great salesman. Don't let Reggie ruin you. Make the deals you can live with. When I'm gone, Babichun, you become top man. 
Where are you going? Afghanistan. I have to get the assholes that killed my sister. What are you talking about, Mo? You can't go back there. They'll never let you out. I don't care. You're a good man, but don't stay here too long. They'll take it Ready away from you. Ready, line 12. Yeah. Are we on schedule? The car just came in. No, the idiot's still in lockup. No bail yet. I'll unload it myself tonight. You fucking better. me a car. Now, dickhead. <laughs> Three cash deals, not bad. Looking at all this money just makes you want to cry. Anna! Tommy, we gotta go. We gotta go right now before... I'll explain later. We don't have much time. Just wait, wait, wait a minute. Bobby, what are you talking about? Hey, Nixon. We've been waiting for you to get home. May we come in? <laughs> Everett, why don't you tie up Bobby's lovely wife and you put these on? Hey, Rich! What would you call the Flintstones if somebody shot their nuts off? Yeah, what would you call him? What would you call him? Wouldn't be nigga, would it? You're not so humorous tonight, Reggie. Come on, white boy, tell me a joke. Hey, I wonder, is killing the general manager grounds for dismissal? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I can cut you in. Long term, a shipment every week. I'm loving this shit, man. I can't believe you're still trying to put me together. Man, the ball's on you. Damn, Reggie. I tell you what, I'll make you a deal. You tell me one of your very funny nigger jokes, one that I haven't heard before, and I'll let your pale ass live for three more minutes. You got three seconds to start joking, white boy. St. Peter is at his gate when three black guys walk up. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Three niggers walk up. St. Peter runs back to God and says, there's three niggers at the gate. What should I do? God says, there's no racism here. Go back and welcome them. After a few minutes, St. Peter runs back and says, they're gone. God says, who? The niggers? St. Peter says, no, the gates. <laughs> that wasn't funny, Reggie. You don't seem to understand when something isn't funny, do you? Hmm? Give me another one. Come on, just give me another one. Come on, Reggie. Let's go! A woman tells a police sketch artist she was mugged by a blue-eyed, blonde-haired, well-dressed man. The sketch artist draws a picture of a black... Uh-uh. ...a nigger. The woman says, that's him. <laughs> hey, 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 I got one, I got one. Look. Hey, two niggas Would walking. Would you shut the fuck up? Man, fuck. <clears throat> Kill his ass. Somebody's coming.
It's over there. Relax, Nixon. We'll be out of here in no time. Try it again. What's wrong with those numbers? Talk fast. I, I didn't have enough time to get it. He screwed us! No, 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 no. Give me a chance to find the combination. I'm sure it's in here. The old, the old man, he don't remember anything. I can, I can find him. I can find it. You've got 60 seconds. <laughs> Just kill him and get the fuck out of here! In less than a minute. Bobby, nothing personal. Why are you doing this, JJ? Because, man, we've been here all night and tired, and a nigga just wants to go home. Do it. About fucking time! I had to go looking for you. Soon to be dead witnesses. Sorry, Bobby. Mr. Reggie, man, let's talk about this shit, man. Come on, come on, please. You are so beyond fucked, you couldn't catch a bus back to fucked. We gotta wave this shit out. Kill him so we can get out of here. What the fuck is going on? Don't move. Christ, Mo, what the hell are you doing here? Are we expecting anybody else? What is this, Reggie? Mo, stand over there. Now! I think I'm scared of you.
What do you call it? Three dead drug dealers and five dead lowlifes in a car dealership. A good start. <laughs> you look pretty bad there, Reggie. Fucking JJ. I was starting to like him, too. I tell you something, kid. Don't ever get shot. It hurts like hell. Just go to work like normal. Everything will be fine, okay? We work here, officer. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Hey, Eddie. What happened? Reggie fucked himself good last night. JJ, too. Stupid assholes were selling more than cars. I can't believe they were working together. Sure had me fooled. Muhammad, too. They're all dead. This wasn't a car dealership, it was a goddamn pharmacy. So, you didn't notice anything out of the ordinary? No, everything seemed pretty normal when I left about, uh, I think it was about 10 o'clock. That's it? That's it. You like this car? Yeah. V8? Yeah, it's a V8. You should take it for a drive. Yeah, you should take it for a drive. Check out the front here, right up here in front. There's even a holder for your donuts. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> you OK? Yeah. Do you still love me? Unfortunately. Enough to pull the invoice for this car. You want to show the invoice to a customer? Why not? He asked. <sighs> what would Reggie say? Oh, nothing. I'm sure right about now he's probably trying to fuck the devil out of an air conditioner. <sighs> Thanks a lot, Bobby. Have a good one, detective. Take it easy. You too, partner. How much did I make on that deal, lady? Not a whole lot. Double, maybe. Good. You got a $10,000 bonus coming, though. This is one crazy fucking business, Eddie. Eh? Hey, partner, I know it's your first month, but don't worry. It's not all as crazy as this. Reggie, got one, please. Uh, Reggie, cancel that.